Didn't this franchise start off about street racing? Hi, I'm Sam Morehouse, and Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw is the first spin-off in the Fast and Furious series. This one, of course, focuses on Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw, which are Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham's respective characters from the more recent Fast and Furious movies. This movie was, of course, directed by David Leach, who has liked so far all of his past work, because this was only his fourth movie. Getting right into it, this movie starts literally right away, and pretty much does does not slow down. I feel like it almost gave me whiplash because it was just one thing after another over and over again. You don't really get a chance to breathe, but that also means you don't really get a chance to get bored, which is definitely a positive. And overall, the way I see it, there are two ways that you can really do action in a movie nowadays. You can either go completely insane and crazy with all the stunts and set pieces, or you can go for a more emotional level of action, where you're just invested in the characters and what's going on and whether they win or lose. And this movie, with no surprise, chooses the crazy, insane set pieces. Which, I have to say, kind of leads to somewhat superficial entertainment. I mean, when you don't care about necessarily what these characters are fighting about or what's going on and you're just there to watch the big explosions, that's not something that's going to stick with you and you're going to be thinking about later. When you're not invested in the characters and what they're doing, it just means that you don't care about the movie that you're watching. It leaves you out of the movie. You should be engaged while watching a movie like this. You should feel like you're in the midst of all this going down. But when you feel disconnected from the characters and what it is they're doing, you're not engaged with the movie at all. This is not to say that what you're watching isn't entertaining, but it's really only entertaining in the moment, and it's not going to stick with you once you leave the theater. Throughout, the movie keeps on trying to bring up the message and values of family. This kind of feels sporadic throughout the film. It's not continuously touched upon. There's like a moment here and a moment here, but I do have to say it works when it does it. It just doesn't hold on to it throughout that much of the movie. It's kind of near the beginning and near the end. If they could have held on to those ideas better throughout the movie, those could have played into the action scenes and made them more emotional. And when the action scenes are more emotional, you're more engaged with the action and overall are more invested in what you're watching. Now, the movie is completely self-aware. It knows exactly what it is, and what it is is pretty cheesy. This movie, unlike the past Fast and Furious movies, is definitely a comedy. So, I can't say much of this comedy made me laugh, though most of my theater found the comedy pretty hilarious, so maybe that's just me. Some of the comedy did lead to pretty great cameos. Now, in the self-aware cheesiness of the movie, that leads to pretty self-aware cheesy dialogue. And this dialogue pokes fun at the concept of the movie itself, which both works and doesn't work. Because on one hand, yeah, it's funny, but on the other hand, it makes people who are watching the movie realize the flaws of the movie, which isn't something you necessarily want your audience to do. And despite this comedy and go, go, go tendencies of the movie, there's actually a few pretty good character moments near the end, though they could have had been stronger if they had happened throughout the movie more and with a wider reach. I completely understand the appeal that this movie has with the fun action and the comedy, and if you're able to just shut off your brain and enjoy something, this movie's probably for you. However, I could have probably used a little more substance in this. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I hope to see you back here next time.